Hi there, Richard Mathuru here. So as a network marketer, should you build a personal brand? And do you actually even know what that is? Most times I ask people, they're like, oh, it's my logo, my tagline, my social media cover photos. That's really not it. So let me explain it, the true essence of personal branding, the big benefits you can expect to receive as a network marketer, and then you can decide if you want to invest some time and effort into building one for yourself. I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't like to waste time, so let's just dive straight into it. There are two real main important factors you should focus on that most people don't. I'm giving you a huge advantage here as a network marketer with a personal brand. Number one, you really want to focus on building your own name alongside of your network marketing company. See, anything can happen to your company, right? You may decide you want to leave it. You may decide that the ownership has made a wrong decision. You may just decide you want to take a different direction. If all you've done is kind of push the company in people's faces before you and they don't even consider you, then when you leave or when the changes happen, People really don't know where to go, where to turn, who to follow, what to do. Their confidence was in the company, not you. But if you can sit a personal brand in front of the company that feeds building your MLM team, then because people have come through your branding, your value, your relationship, your confidence that they have in you, then now it's a lot easier for you to say, hey, team, we're moving over here, or we know this problem's over there, don't worry, I've got your back. And they feel secure and they'll take action on that. So really focus on positioning your personal brand just in front of your network marketing company. That's the way that people are going to come in. You, then the company. It has to be that way for long-term security. The second big point I want to give you what a true branding expert would be is that you need to feel what would people say about you when they saw your name written down. Like if I was experienced your marketing right now of your network marketing team, how are you doing that? Like on social media, if we'd had a conversation, whatever, what would I then say about you in terms of how I felt about you? The, the general kind of ethos I thought you stood for. That's a true personal brand. Like people need to know when they come to you that they're going to receive value. They're going to get assistance. They feel good. They would recommend you. They would write your name down and shove it in the hand of a friend, right? For referrals. So start to think about that as you build a personal brand. And let me give you some specifics. Number one, you want to have a specific group of people. You cannot assist everybody the same way you can assist a group of people that have something in common. That just makes sense, right? If you were going to be teaching someone how to learn French, well, wouldn't you want to focus on the people that already were interested in learning French? Of course you would, right? Try and teach the whole population. Everyone's going to be like, I don't want to learn that language. I don't want to speak that language. I'm not committed enough. So find the slice of the pie that's going to taste the best. I like that. I'll use that again. Um, so what you want to do is pick a particular group of people that you want in your network marketing team. What are their demographics? What are their personalities? You know, can find a common ground that you can then appeal to in everything that you do. You can look at my tagline, my logo, my social media stuff. Yeah, it makes a bit of a difference in terms of people researching me. But more importantly, think about this video, the products I create, my blog, my podcast, everything that I put out there, anywhere you look, if you are a network marketer and you want to build your business on the internet and you want practical, solid advice from someone in the field, you're going to click with what I put out there straight away. And if someone asks you to describe me, you'd go, oh, that's that network marketing guy. You know, he's he failed in three companies. Now he's sponsored over 700 people. He teaches network marketers how to use the internet and maybe gives them strategy. Whatever you would say, it would be something along those lines. I would hope, right? Fingers crossed. Piece of the pie that tastes the best. But that's what you want to position yourself in. That position where your target market says, yeah, oh man, that is the girl, that is the guy to go to, right? Think about that. Think about what you can offer. What are the problems that this group already face? How can you solve them for them and then position your network marketing team as a final solution, as the next step? So you're going to find that everybody in the world typically wants one of two things or both, more time and more money. Those two things create freedom and everybody wants freedom. It's built into our DNA. So you can go to single mums 
and say, hey, here's three ways in this video I can show you how to uh, create exciting pockets of time with your children. I know you're busy, you're working, you're trying to keep a roof over their head, you're trying to deal with your kids in a, in a positive way. So here's how you can make best use of that time. Oh, by the way, I actually build a business that would allow you to remove yourself from that full-time job and still earn the same or more. Can you see that segue, that transition that you could actually do there? Because a lot of people have this disconnect. Well, I have single mums over here. How do I get them to MLM if I'm talking about tips to deal with their children? Very simply and easily and very ethically. You can do that with anything, right? Um, you want to talk to people about shoes. Your passion is shoes. You like people who like shoes as well. I don't know. Maybe that's your thing, right? So you're talking to them about their shoes. You know, hey, you like to buy shoes. If you want to generate an extra thousand a month so you can buy even more shoes, I'm building a business that allowed me to do that. Look at all these shoes. I bought them from this side project. You can segue any which way you want. When you have that personal brand sitting in front of the MLM, you're able to build confidence, rapport, relate to them in something where they go, I like that guy. I like that girl. What else do they offer? That's going to be their logical next step if you're marketing your personal brand the right way. So here's some homework for you. What group of people do you truly want to have in your network marketing business? How could you assist those people with something that they're already doing or struggling with via your content, via your social media posts? Maybe inspire something with your tagline and your logo. How could you become somebody that possesses the skill and the solutions to help that group doing something they're already committed to? And then once you start to build that trust and rapport with your marketing, how are you then going to segue into your network marketing team? Are you going to allow them to reach out and have a consultation with you? Are you going to put out a PDF which has them opt in so you can follow up one by one? Are you directly going to say, hey, you've been following me for some time. Here's a webinar that I want to talk to you about a project that I've got going on. There are various options and you can get to choose which one you like best because they all work when you work them well. So I hope you've gained some tips and some practical next steps to building a personal brand. Yes, consider the visual stuff, the logos, the, the, you know, the taglines, but then behind that, what is the real kind of meat that's going to be put on the bones, right? Everybody I see out there, 95% of them, your competition, they're thinking about how they can make things look good and then forgetting the skills and the solutions that are really going to matter. I've given you an advantage in this video. Go out there and become the person that can provide these solutions. Get the courses, get the coaching, use your existing knowledge or experience to serve this group and they're going to follow you, they're going to refer you, they're going to want to work with you and you'll blow the competition away because you'll be in the positive minority by doing this. Um, if you want more, I'm trying to think I always like to give you a next step. After this homework, if you are wanting to kind of go a little bit deeper into this, if you want to see how I sponsored over 700 people in my network marketing team after being a real loser at it, I mean, I did 328 presentations. They all told me no in three different companies. Uh, and now I sponsored over 700 and helped generate over a million pounds worth of additional sales in our industry. Uh, you can go to richardmatheru.com forward slash webinar. Uh, that will guide you through how I did that, give you some great free training. If it's still available at that link, it'll be live once you click it. Uh, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses and I'll catch you on another video really soon. Bye for now.